Welcome to another day in the barn. Uh, today I'm going to be installing five point harnesses in my uh, 2012 RZR Walker Evans Polaris Razor. Well, I don't know why I didn't put this bar back in before I put the skid plate on, but I didn't. So. I might have to go back and look at the video and see if this is the right direction or not. I can't remember. Yeah, that's right. Because the uh, things tip up like that, you don't want them clear back here. Okay, so this uh, belt, the lap belt, bolts into the center here, and it bolts into the side where the retractor was taken out. I had to drill this hole out to a half inch to accept the shoulder on the bolt that came out of it, and then I put a washer on there to make sure that this is going to swivel, so no matter who you are, you're going to get a comfortable fit this on here and maybe try and get that underneath the plastic which is already broke there or maybe just put it over the plastic like the retractor does put that on there if you use a drill or drill press don't try to just hold on to the d-ring here while you're drilling it because it's going to grab on you. I know from experience. And uh, it'll spin around and you'll get bloodied, baby. I did. So then I hooked it with a pair of vice grips and did it. That was smarter. Then I got even smarter and just put it in a vise and used the drill bit to finish it off with a hand drill. Let's see if we can get this out of here now. Okay, I got the other side done, so I'm going to go ahead and do this side. I messed up with the camera, thought I was recording. I wasn't. <coughs> so, crotch build in first. There's already a hole right here. It's going to be a pain in the butt to get to because of this... Uh, cover that goes over top of it and I'm probably right in your way but I'll move in just a second all right so there's a hole right here already just pry this back a little bit so I can get the bolt in here to get my head out of your way and of course I drop my washer down on top of the 
only place it can go, the skid plate. It's too big. I have to find my other magnet. Which is right here. Look at that, my magnet came apart. At least I got it on the washer. Holy cow. Oh, now my extension's on there too. About a thousand. tanks in my way.
Got to get the last one that goes over here. Move this bad boy around so we can see what's going on. going to be the spot right there. Since I'm the one that always drives this in a way, it won't have to be adjusted. Put that down like that. Oops, wrong direction. You see, if you pull this up like this, you can pull those all the way out. Or you can pull them up. So we're going to do it like that. Side belt, left harness, center harness, right harness, and right lap belt, which has the hook in it. Put it down there. Just grab these bad boys, pull them like that. Yeah, take the center clip to hold them together, just like that. Pull them a little tighter. That's going to hold me in there, there's no doubt. I ain't going nowhere. I like them. Thanks for watching. Till next time, when I'll be in the barn. Oh, and it's easy to unclip. Flip that switch, flip that, done, done. Done. And loosen these for the next time you get in so it won't be so hard. Pull down, 
pull down, unclip the center. Done deal. Thanks for watching again. One thing to note before I go, which I've already said thanks for watching about five times now. Anyway, if you have a newer model than I have, they have, this package comes with a seatbelt bypass. So you just got to plug that in so that you can uh, get all the speed out of your machine. Mine doesn't require a seatbelt bypass, doesn't require the seatbelts to be buckled in order to go. So... Remember, it does come with a seatbelt bypass, and if you have one of those machines that require you to have your seatbelt plugged in to go, or to go fast, you might want to remember to plug this in. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I know there's not a lot of subscribers out there, but I love you all.